Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. In the last episode, we prepared the Squirrel Nutkin applique piece ready for its backing fabric. We cut out the template pieces, I'm the Mon, and I'm going to be using this acorn fabric. We drew all the features in and my next step is to stitch this piece onto my fabric. I'm going to be using the sewing machine, a large zigzag stitch to stitch the applique onto the fabric. After that, I'm going to stitch around all of Squirrel Nutkin's pieces individually. Let's get stitching. So Squirrel Nutkin's all stitched on and he's looking really cute. My next step is to bubble cut this fabric again and stitch it on to another piece of backing fabric which belonged to another character square which I'm going to use for this character square. Squirrel Nutkin has his second bubble cut and he needs a bit of a press before I stitch it on to the final backing fabric. So I'm making sure that Squirrel Nutkin is positioned right in the centre of our backing fabric. It's time to stitch again. Nutkin is stitched down on his final backing fabric. It is time for me to stitch around his body and all of his pieces using a running stitch with the sewing machine. Lots of stitching to do, let's get stitching. I'm going to start around his tail and finish up around his head and back to the base of his tail. After that, I'm going to be doing the finer details. So the cheeky and impertinent Squirrel Nutkin is all stitched on. He's looking like he's got a bit of attitude and a bit of character here. I'm going to be stitching the acorns on now. Our stitching is complete and we're finished with the sewing machine and this effect here looks a bit like a wreath. To add a more decorative effect to it out come the floral motives whereby I'm going to iron them 
around the ring. I'm going to be using these floral motifs. These are the embroidered motifs which I've used before. I've used it on Jemima. I'm going to be pressing them on now as these are iron-on motifs. They're in place and they're ready to press. So here we have our completed Squirrel Nutkins applique character square. I'm really happy with him. I really like his acorn wreath with the floral motifs ironed on. He's got a, a cheeky attitude to him. And I think it brings out his character. I also feel that the flowers and the acorn fabric bring out a real woodlands feel to the squirrel character that he is. I really enjoyed making squirrel nutkins. I just let my creativity run away with me. I used the sewing machine in a really relaxed way and as we did with Tom Kitten drawing with thread, I sort of was drawing with the sewing machine. If you look at the gum nuts they're quite playful and whimsical and I'm really happy with this character square I hope you had fun making your squirrel nutkins applique thank you for joining me today don't forget to like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time with issue 16 bye